everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm making 10 cards with one kit using the Simon Says Stamp September 2017 card kit. Now um, here's a quick look at everything that came in the kit. I'm going to go over it just a little bit before I start making the cards. Um, that's cute. Okay. You always get um, a sheet for inspiration. Be uh, wonderful card designers give you some ideas. Um, on what to do with the kit. You get five pieces of cardstock. You get the um, cotton candy, the lavender, 120 pound white cardstock, doll pink and Audrey blue. And then you also get some six by six um, pattern papers. These are double sided and you get eight of them. These ones are by Doodlebug and they're fun birthday rainbow theme, bright vivid colors, um, really fun papers. So here's a quick look, and I'm going to flip them over and show you what's on the back side real fast. Um, birthday cakes, you get some rainbow stripes, just fun little clouds with happy faces and rainbows, polka dots, some pretty cute little rainbow hearts, just a lot of fun pattern papers in the kit. And then you get some, these are um, um, Doodle Bug Sprinkle Set, real cute fun rainbows, cupcakes. And then you get um, four, you're supposed to get <laughs> four jelly bean uh, soup shaker tags. Um, I only got three. And you know, um, when I looked at what was in the kit on their website, it showed you got a balloon one and then a heart one. But um, I guess they substituted, they must have ran out. So um, most of you probably have the heart and the uh, birthday balloon. But anyway, we're going to jump in and get started. I'm going to take the stamp from the stamp set. The stamp set is called Best to Ever. It's an exclusive stamp set from for this kit. I added some Versa, um, Versa Mark ink and then some white embossing powder. Um, and I just stamped it on regular white cardstock. Now I want to um, use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to color in this rainbow. Um, these these watercolor markers are very vivid, and I really like like that look. And I thought it would be fun to use my Wink of Stella to do a little bit of blending. And I love the outcome. I love the bold colors, and then I love um, the shimmer that it gives. It was really neat. Um, I would encourage you guys to try this out with it. And then I really like the white embossing powder with that too. Um, I chose colors that kind of coordinated with the paper pad. You know, um, pinks and purples, blues. Um, and I think it just looks so fun. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that out and clean up the edges where I went outside the line. <laughs> and then um, we're just going to set that aside. But I think it just gorgeous. Okay, next, um, I'm, uh, the pattern paper had this um, lined paper on it that had some happy birthday in different colors. Really pretty. So I just cut out a strip of that. And then I decided to use this balloon pattern paper. I'm going to use the white cardstock that came in the kit. And I did already score down and, and I turned that cardstock into A2 size cards. So I have 10 total. I adhered the balloon pattern paper to my card base and then for my stash I have a scallop circle die and then a regular circle die. I want to cut out a window um, on my card panel, my card base, and then I want to cut out a real thin frame to go around it that has a little bit of a scalloped edge. Um, next I want to stamp another part for the sentiment. So in the stamp set it has like a curved sentiment. And so this one says, to the very best friend ever. And so I just went through my inks and I found this one is a lawn fawn, it's a purple ink. But um, I want to kind of coordinate with the colors of the balloons. So I use that purple to stamp my sentiment on the inside of the card. This I want to make a different card where if you opened it up, then um, the, half the sentiment would still be in there. I just popped up that happy birthday strip of paper with some foam tape and then um, 
you'll notice that on that the happy birthday paper it has a strip of green so I went through my um, my twine and I found a green that coordinated with it really well and I just stuck it behind that heart and then I added it to my card base and then a few of those doodlebug sprinkles the little dots that were in there I added that and that was it for card one now we're going to move on to card number two I'm taking the cloud stamp I'm going to stamp it four times using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then I'm also going to stamp the rainbow. I I wanted to... the 10 card videos run long so I had to skip through the coloring but I just used my alcohol markers to color it in. Very basic and it was a very um, basic rainbow color. And so I cut out a strip of the purple paper there and then the real thin strip of the rainbow stars I'm going to add the purple strip to the bottom piece of this white cardstock. This white cardstock is four and a half inches wide and then it, or long, and then it is um, one and three quarters inch tall. So I'm just going to use my Nuvo Deluxe adhesive and add that strip of stars on the top. I'm going to trim off any excess here. And then in the stamp set, it has a, a long strip of happy birthdays. It just, it's repetitive happy birthday. So these inks were actually from a previous Simon Says Stamp Kit. And so I thought it'd be fun to, to stamp that happy birthday strip with a whole bunch of different colors. And I'm still going along with that rainbow theme. And, um,. I actually stamped it five times with five different colors and when I got towards the top I kind of kind of got crooked <laughs> so I ended up covering that up later on but once I have that done now I'm gonna um, I have a four and a half or a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of cardstock here and then I'm taking my little this is a mini uh, cloud stencil it's a um, MFT stencil a fun stencil oh my goodness but I'm just taking some broken china distressed oxide ink and creating a cloud background and I think I just love the outcome of that it's just so neat when I look at that I think wow um, the dimension that it gives is is pretty neat just for being a, a stencil okay I have a piece of vellum that I trim down to be a standard size card size I'm just going to score the top there and then I'm going to take this cloud panel and put some um, adhesive on the back and then I'm going to glue that directly on the inside of this vellum like card base. So I have a very sturdy back and then I have a vellum top. I'm going to take that little piece there and I'm going to place it on the bottom and this way it will kind of weight down that vellum and then I'm just going to arrange, my, I'm going to pop up my rainbow with some dimensional adhesive and then I'm going to arrange it on my card front here. I just want to make like a different, different card, but I think that turned out really neat. Um, I did notice on the inside of the vellum, I'll probably go back in later and cut out another rainbow and clouds and just cover that back so you can't see the dimensional adhesive. And then here's where I went in with a piece of that polka dotted pattern paper to cover up my crooked um, stamping <laughs> and then just to bring in more red because the polka dot didn't have um, any red in it I added some red and white baker's twine and to finish it off I added a little purple heart to the cloud and then that was it for that card I think it's fun and I loved um, when you can see script underneath the vellum I just think it looks so neat Okay, we're going to move along to card number three. Now for card number three, I cut out a panel using white cardstock, and then I'm going to cut out the same size panel using this polka dot paper here. And then for my stash, I have this, this is like a border die. I'm going to create a wave on that, um, that paper and just cut out two pieces. And then using temporary adhesive, um, well actually I didn't do that yet. <laughs> I'm going to, in the stamp set, there's this solid 
a line stamp. It's a pretty thick line stamp. And it's very easy to manipulate and, and curve around. So I created a, the same curve as I have on that panel that I had cut out. And then um, just using temporary adhesive, I adhered that polka dot paper to that white cardstock there. And then I'm going in with um, some inks that I tried to match up the colors of that polka dot paper as best as I could. But this is the purple. And then I ended up going in with a green and then um, like a pinkish reddish color. And I think that looks really fun. So much nicer than a boring straight line. <laughs> I stamped the sentiment that says, sending lots of color your way. I love that. And then I'm going to peel off <clears throat> that polka dot paper and pop it up with some um, foam tape. And then I'm going to take that and place it back on that white panel. That way I have a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to add that panel. This is the lavender card base. I'm going to add that there. And then I thought it needed just a little bit more. And so I took that that die that I had created the curve with and and made a black um, a little black curve to go over that the seam of that polka dot paper there and then I added glossy accents to my stamp stripes curvy stripes and then also to a few of the polka dots just to add a little dimension and then um, I added some more of the doodle bug sprinkles to the top there and that's it for that card very fun card. <laughs> now for card number four, I'm cutting out this rainbow paper and I'm going to adhere it to that um, uh, cotton candy cardstock. I'm just going to directly adhere it right in the center. For this card I wanted to use the tag. Now again you guys will probably have a, um, a, rain or a, a heart shaker or you'll probably have a balloon shaker, but um, either one that you have, you could work the same way with this card. I stamped the sentiment that says, Happy Birthday to the Kindest, Most Beautiful Person I Know. Love that sentiment. And then I'm going to pla place the, um, the shaker part on the inside there. And I just glued it down with my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. And then I'm going to take some sequins from my stash. These are um, Kennedy Gray sequins. These are um, cotton candy, real beautiful pink. And I want to add that to the shaker. I want my shaker to be all the way full. I don't want to shake, be able to shake too much. <laughs> I just love the, the vibrant color that it had. And then for my stash, I'm ha I have some pink twine here. It's kind of a thick pink twine. I'm going to thread it through the tag and just tie a bow on top. Kind of straighten out my bow a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm going to place that on my panel at a diagonal. And then I needed, I figured it would look really cute with the little rainbow sprinkle. And then one of, um, there's a white, a white cloud in there that I'm going to use too. And place that off to the side. And then I'm going to take that really pretty pink heart that matches the card base perfectly and add that to that. And very simple card, but I think it's so sweet. Be cute for a little girl. <laughs> okay. Now for our next card. I love the way this one turned out. I have a largest circle die that I have. This is a stitch circle die. I'm going to cut out a white circle using um, with white cardstock. And then in the stamp set, there's this gorgeous happy birthday. I love the script on this happy birthday. And so I'm going to place it on my block. And then I'm going to use some Distress Oxide inks. I love the effect that this gives, so I'm going to go in with some fossilized amber and then taking some worn lipstick, I'm just going to go over the top part of the Happy Birthday and then using some Broken China, I'm going to go over the bottom part. So I'm going to have a gradient of colors and when you mix those colors together it kind of creates like a rainbow effect. So you'll have greens and oranges pinks and yellows. It's really pretty. 
I'm going to stamp the happy birthday on the top of that circle there. And I just love the way that turned out. Real gorgeous. Okay, next I'm going to add some adhesive to the bottom of that circle and then I'm going to use a strip of this pattern paper here and adhere that to the circle there. And then I'm going to take those little cupcakes that came in the doodle bug sprinkle pack. I put one straight on the white um, sentiment sheet there and then I'm, I'm going to pop up this one with some dimensional adhesive. And then I'm going to grab the little orange heart and stick that right in between. I love the way that looks. I added the um, the orange pattern paper on my white card base behind there. I just trimmed it down so a little bit smaller than my card base. And then I popped up this whole entire piece here with some foam tape and I placed that on my card base. And then for a little sparkle and shine I have some Nouveau Crystal Drops. And these are uh, White Lizard. It's like an iridescent, real pretty color. And I w went over each of those little flowers and then the candles on the bottom. And then that was that, that was that card. Very cute. Love the way that one turned out. <laughs> okay, now for my next card. Okay, this was, I don't know what I was thinking, but it really turned out cute. Okay, I took that, that solid stripe um, stamp and then I'm going to go in with some Broken China, and, or uh, not Broken China, I'm sorry, this is Worn Lipstick and Fossilized Amber. And I add, I'm going to stamp lines at a diagonal and then I'm going to go over the pink um, with some Fossilized Amber. And I wasn't being really too pick particular about it because I was only going to use a, a part of this paper here. And then I w did the same thing on the reverse, so I have crisscrosses and I did add water to activate that so it kind of meshed everything together. Now next, um, I don't know why I have this in my stamp platform. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but actually, you know what? If you ever do watercoloring your stamp platform, if you have a Tim Holtz stamp platform, it'll work really well. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> but um, I'm taping off the edges because this panel has a scalloped edge and I want the edges of the scallop to be white. I took the little itty bitty hearts and again the happy birthday and I'm going in with worn lipstick and then on one end I'm adding um, fossilized amber and then on the other end I'm adding uh, cracked pistachio. So I have a gradient of colors and hearts and I did that all along the panel diagonally and I love the way this turned out. The colors are gorgeous. I hope the camera can pick it up but I just loved it. It was really fun to do. So that's my little panel. Now I have three pieces of, uh, of cardstock that I had grabbed from my stash and a circle die. I'm going to cut out three circles with each of those colors. And then let's see. And then I have a um, piece of regular white cardstock. I'm going to go, I'm going to cover it up with some vintage photo distress ink. And then for my, also for my stash, I have the spoon die. I want, I need a spoon for this card, so I cut out a little spoon. Um, in those doodle, doodle pops that comes with that little sundae, and that's what I wanted to recreate, but a larger version. And so um, I'm going to trim this down and create the cup of my little sundae, my little cup of ice cream here. Very easy to do, but I think it was just so fun. It was fun. <laughs> And it really turned out neat. Okay, so I have my little ice cream cup. I need two pieces of the white cardstock. Um, I want it to be kind of layered, so I'm putting one on the back. And I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. And then I'm going to pop one up with uh, the foam tape. So I'm going to make sure that they're both the same size. I'm just trimming off the ends a little bit there. Okay. Now I want the corners to be a little bit rounded and so I have my my chompadile, cropadile. I'm just going to use that to curve the the sides of the that white pattern or that white cardstock there. And then I'm going to add a little layer by putting that white cardstock on top. That way I have a little bit of dimension. 
I'm just going to go ahead and arrange my little ice cream scoops here in my little Sunday cap. And then just to bring it all together, I took that vintage photo distress ink and run around the edges of my Sunday here. I'm going to I'm going to pop that Sunday up with some dimensional adhesive and also the spoon too here. Place that on my Sunday. I'm going to flip it over and then pop that entire, oh, before I do that, I'm getting ahead of myself, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I have some white um, jute cord. It's pretty thin stuff and I really like it. I just doubled it up and made a little bow and then using a glue dot, I'm going to add that to my spoon. And I think it just turned out so neat. Now I'm going to lift it up and add it to my little panel there. Very simple and easy to do, guys. And you know what? Um, if you don't have a spoon die, um, you could just have, actually have like the handle of the spoon sticking out of the sundae. Okay. And I'm taking that entire piece and I'm going to add it to my, this is a dull pink cardstock or card base. And you can see I created with some orange pattern paper that little flag behind it. Just to add a little bit of orange to the card. I'm using my white gel pen and just making my spoon a little bit more dimensional and then I went in with my white blizzard and added a few drops here and there. But that's it for that card. It was really fun. Oh, I did add one of those pink hearts to the center of the bow. Okay, now for card number seven, I'm stamping the rainbow again here and then two clouds. This card was so cute. Very simple, but so cute. Now I went ahead and added the happy faces to those clouds and to save time I'm going to go ahead and um, color them in. I'm For this card I'm using the sentiment that says happy, happy birthday to the kindest most beautiful person I know and then I'm using a fishtail sentiment die here and here's where I already colored them in and I'm going to go ahead and fussy get those out. I just used my alcohol markers to color these in and then I did go over it with my Wink of Stella to give them the clouds and the rainbow a little bit of shine. Now I'm going to use the little heart pattern paper that has, it's like a rainbow color. I'm going to just use my tape runner and adhere that to a piece of white cardstock right in the center. So it has a little bit of a white background and then I cut out a white circle with white cardstock. I'm going to place that on my little panel here and I'm going to arrange my cute little rainbow. I'm going to pop everything up with some foam or dimensional adhesive here. I'm going to add my sentiment. I did put my sentiment off to the side a little bit, um, but I did it crooked so I'm just <laughs> trying to straighten it up. And then I did pop that panel up with some foam tape and I'm going to place it on the Audrey Blue cardstock here. And then to bring it all together, I took the little pink, or actually it's the same color blue as our card base, the little heart, place that right next to the sentiment. And that's it for that one. Okay, now moving on to card number eight. I'm going to cut out a panel using both of these pattern papers here. This is a really girly, girly card here real fun. I took um, a stitch rectangle die and I cut out two panels and I'm going to layer them together. I didn't have a long rectangle panel so um, this is the way I could create it. I wanted the stitch edging. Now I'm going to take this piece here and I am um, using my craft knife. I'm going to cut um, the top and the bottom of that purple paper that says happy or birthday girl. I want to be able to kind of um, slide my white cardstock through there and then I want it to cover up that seam too so it looks like one piece. I'm kind of cheating a little bit <laughs> but I think it looks really neat. Okay, so basically that's going to be kind of the layout of our card. And I thought that needed a little bit more so I grabbed some white ribbon for my stash and I'm going to add a white bow to the bottom here. Okay. 
once I have that done, I'm going to pop that entire piece up with foam tape and then add that to my panel there. And then we need our little embellishments. So I'm going to take basically the rest of the little um, doodlebug sprinkles um, and add that to that white cardstock. I'm going to place that on my lavender card base. And that was it. Very simple and easy card. Okay, now for card number nine, I'm going in with some VersaFine ink and stamping this rainbow heart. And then I added clear embossing powder and I already heat set that. Again, for this card, I'm going to be using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and my Wink of Stella for some shimmer and shine. And I colored that in and fussy cut it out. Now I'm taking a um, piece of white cardstock here. And I'm going to take that rainbow heart pattern paper and then the little itty bitty star pattern paper here. And I'm going to layer them together on top of this panel and trim off the excess. And in the stamp set is this, this cute little candle. So I got to use the candle. I'm going to um, use the inks that I have that are the closest to what um, what I use for that heart, the rainbow heart up there. And I'm going to stamp them all along the top of that pattern paper there. And I think it looks so cute. And then for this sentiment, I add. I'm going to stamp. Um, the sentiment that says more candles more fun and I was going to do it on top of the candles and then change my mind and I thought it would be nice kind of on the bottom of them I'm taking this pattern paper and I'm going to adhere it to a piece of black cardstock for my stash and then once I have that done I'm going to adhere that to the cotton candy cardstock here And I'm going to pop this panel up that we stamped on with some foam tape just to give this card a little bit of dimension and adhere that. I'm going to add the little happy birthday strip that was left over from another, um, the earlier card and place that right below the candles. And then I'm going to add my heart to the right up there. And I did add a little bit of Wink Estella to those candles too. And that's it for that card. Okay, for my final card, I was um, running out of supplies. <laughs> and so I thought it would be fun. I love the font on this happy birthday. So I wanted to know if I could straighten it out. And it straightens out really well, guys. So this is a versatile happy birthday. Um, I just put it on my acrylic block and straightened it as best as I could. And then I'm going to do that, um, the same effect that I did for the earlier card. I'm going in with some um, fossilized amber. And then on the top, I'm going to add some um, worn lipstick. And then on the bottom, some broken china. Creating like a, another rainbow sentiment here. A rainbow happy birthday. I'm going to stamp that on a piece of white card stock. And I just love that. That's my new favorite thing to do now. <laughs> okay, I cut out a frame using um, the scallop frame die. It's actually from Pretty, uh, Pretty Pink Posh. It's called Scallop Frames, but I love these frames. I'm adding some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to add some vellum to the back of it. And I'm just going to trim off the excess. Now, <clears throat> I'm going through the pattern papers that I have left and I think these three here looked really good together. Now since this is like a birthday themed card kit, I'm going to make some candles. So I cut out three kind of wonky strips and then on a piece of white cardstock I'm going to add some fossilized amber distress oxide ink here. And now if you want to make your own homemade candles, the best wicks you could ever make are your leaf dies guys. So grab your leaf dies and cut those out and you can use them for candle wicks. I'm just going to go over with some fossilized amber on the edges just to intensify the color on, on one side. And then I'm just going to arrange my candles 
on the vellum and then secure them with my tape runner. Love that. I'm going to fishtail both ends of my happy birthday sentiments here and then I'm going to pop this whole thing up with some foam tape and place it right over the candles. And then I'm going to flip over that vellum piece and add some uh, foam tape as well and pop that up and place that on my Audrey Blue card base. And that's it. Those are all 10 cards that I use or that I made using the Simon Says Stamp um, September card kit. I hope this inspires you and gives you some ideas on what to do with the kit. Um, I am going in with some Wink of Stella. I always add a little bit extra <laughs> but um, over the candles and then the candle wicks that we made. But um, this was a really fun kit. Really bright and vivid. A lot of fun elements. Um, thank you so much for stopping by guys. If you like this tutorial give me a thumbs up. And as always if you're new and want to see more hit that subscribe button. Um, here's a quick look at all 10 cards I made using the kit. Um, I hope uh, you have a great day. Um, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.